If you would like to email a group of students or a group of parents, but don't want to type all of their emails every time you send them an email, then you want to create a group or a label. Start off by typing contacts.google.com in your address bar. And then on the side here, you'll see labels and you would see any existing labels that you've created or groups. Um, if you want to create one, click here, and then you want to name your group or label. And whatever you name it is what you're going to type when you send an email. So for example, if I'm making a group um, of students, I'm just going to type students here and then save. And now that I've created that label, I can see it here. So I want to go up and search for a student. I can search by their name or by their student ID. And then you'll see them come up here. You can click on the student and then go to the three dots and you'll see your labels listed here. So you can just click on the label that you just created to add them. And now you can just X out of this. And so when I look at my student label now, now I see that student in there. So you would continue to look for students to add to your group, click on the three dots, and then click on the label. Once you've added all of your students and you're ready to send an email, go to Gmail, and then where it says to, type the name of that label. So I called mine students, so that's what I'm going to type, and then click enter and then it populates that field with all of your students. If I want to email a group of parents and create a label or group for them, I won't be able to search for them here. I'm going to have to create contact. And then you can choose to create one at a time or create multiple. I'm gonna click on create multiple contacts. And then right here it says no label. So if you um, already have a label, that's great. But if you don't have one, you can click there. And then right in this menu, you can create a new label. So I'm going to type parents and click enter. And now I can type all of the parent email addresses. Make sure you separate with a comma. When you're done, click enter. And then you're ready to click create. Just like when you email the student group, if you want to email the parents now that you've created a group, you can go to your Gmail and then just type your new label, so mine is parents, and then it populates all of the parents here, and I can type my email and click send. Thanks for watching.